Hey guys, I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks and I'm over here at the Petphone 2 launch event in Taipei and now we're taking a look at it. This is uh, of course um, the tablet station, the dock-in station here, which comes uh, with a 10.1 inch display, 1280 by 800 is the resolution and this one is running, is it already running Android uh, Jelly Bean or is this uh, running on Ice Cream Sandwich? Let me just check, going through this here, here we go. And there you can see it's, it's running on the latest version of Ice Cream Sandwich, but I'm also pretty sure that we will see um, a Jelly Bean version very, very soon. Let's take a quick look around the system. So I think this is a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front, or is yeah. it 1.3 megapixel camera on the front? Yeah. And uh, on the back, of course, uh, we have this new docking station here. As you can see, it's using a new uh, slider mechanism. Let us compare this to the previous version. I have the Petphone 1 with me, and this one was a little bit complicated to uh, get in there. You had to open this little lid here, and there you go, and then you could get the Petphone out of this. While right now, with the Petphone 2, you can just slide it out like this. Hold on a second. Here we go. Bingo. And there you go. So, you know what, let's take a quick look at the different phones here. Um, compared to the original pad phone, this now comes with a 4.7 inch Super AMOLED display of, with a resolution of 720p and it's also based on a new SoC. It's still using the Qualcomm S4 platform, but this is the Qualcomm S4 Pro. That's a 1.5 gigahertz uh, quad-core processor. It comes with 1 gigabytes of RAM and there should be 16 and 32 gigabytes version. Let's take a quick look around the device. So we have a power button here, there's a volume control, there's pretty much, oh, of course, we have a, a micro USB here on the bottom and there's a jack for your headset and I think this is where you can get the SIM card in. Uh, in general, it, it feels just a very light and of course it's also pretty fast here. That's of course a Taiwanese version so it's all in Chinese, but um, compared to the original pad phone, which came with a 4.3-inch uh, screen, this is definitely a huge improvement. Oh, and by the way, this also came with a dual-core uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon. So here's a quad-core performance in there, which should be pretty much the fastest SoC that is available on the market right now. Um, it still comes with an 8-megapixel camera on the back. There we go. And like the original pad phone, you can see it definitely got a little bit bigger. So this is a very, very quick uh, first look at the new ASUS pad phone 2 with the new ASUS pad phone 2 docking station uh, with this new sliding mechanism, which is definitely a huge improvement compared to the original version. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.